Hello YouTube, Psycho Fox here. We've got the old Amstrad Mega PC. Uh, PC and Mega Drive all in one unit. From 1993. Uh, fired up. I like to fire this up now and again just to uh, give the onboard battery a charge. So I can uh, <coughs> just make sure it still works and everything. So I've just uh, re-input all, uh, all the settings. Hard disk settings and that. So yeah, another thing I wanted to do was just to demonstrate that you can use one of these on it, which is the Master System Converter 2. And I'm just going to test out a couple of games I bought the other day in town. GP Rider cost me a quid. And Battle Outrun with box, no instructions, cost me three quid. So, uh, not sure how easy this is going to be one-handed, but let's give it a go. So, let's just flick into Mega Drive mode, and this is the Acorn multi-sync monitor. So, yeah, it will accept the signal from the Mega Drive. So, uh, first thing we want to do is uh, plug in the converter. Now, if you remember, I did loads of work on this system. Replaced the 9-pin uh, ports, put new RAM cards in because... Uh, you ran sims in because one caught fire placed the floppy drive uh, all sorts of little things did a whole whole uh, stack of videos on it so let's open the uh, slot up and to make it easier let's put the game in before we stick the whole unit in so I'm not going to do any gameplay on this because uh, I've not got my pads to hand I'm in the middle of um, packing to move house which seems to be taking forever so um, they're all packed away so when this is uh, slid in it'll flick the little switch and turn the Mega Drive on and nothing is happening so we'll take that out and stick that in again and there we are, Battle Outrun comes on. Now I've not got the speakers in, I've just realised, which is a great oversight. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, they're all plugged in, but they've got their own power supply, and I've not got that plugged in. Because if I pan out, you can see they've got a wardrobe there, uh, Amstrad monitor, just tons of stuff that's all stacked in front of the Trinitron, and the power plugs are down there. I'm running this off... Um, bit of a lash up at the moment so uh, yeah sorry about that no sound but as you can see running fine and uh, so that is the pause button obviously that won't do anything at the moment but the one thing uh, you will notice with master system games they're offset to the right for some reason don't know why I don't know if that's a quirk of this monitor or but it would run like this on the proper Amstrad monitor that this system came with. I suspect it's a quirk of this Acorn monitor. But now they do um they do work fine. So let's attempt to take out Battle Outrun. Uh you shouldn't really pull these out, should you, while it's running and there's no way of turning it off. Alright, let's take the whole thing out just to be sure. So you pull this out slowly and the Mega Drive goes off. So, a bit of one-handed cart changing. There we go. Let's try GP Rider. Now, this is um, this is a game that looks really good on the Game Gear. I'm not sure about the Master System version. I think it's in split screen, which is a bit odd, like they did with um, Monaco GP. Made it split screen on the Master System. Not sure why, because I think it looks much better in uh, full screen. There we go, GP Rider, that works as well, one pound well spent. So this monitor is absolutely beautiful. Really, really crisp. If you focus in there, <laughs> really crisp. Hmm. So let's hope we get a bit of demo for it. Yeah, so it's split screen. <coughs> Which is a bit of a shame. But... I suppose it's still a good game. Shame, shame it's not full screen. We'll have to try and get a Game Gear version. So it's flickering a bit on this, but that's just um, an artifact of the camera. 
it's coming uh, coming across really nice and clear on the monitor no flicker so if I pan out a little bit you can see it's a bit of a a bit of a beast hanging out the front of the system but you can still use the reset under there that still resets the master system I'm assuming the pause would work if you're actually playing the game yeah so just thought I'd show you that it Amstrad Mega PC is a uh, master system converter 2 compatible although on this monitor it seems to offset the games to the right so absolutely brilliant and the great thing about this system is whatever you're doing on the PC side when you're finished with your Mega Drive stroke master system side you flick back and it's just we left it be it on the setup screen on um, Wolfenstein 3D, whatever you've got running. So yeah, just thought I'd um, show you that while I've got this system uh, booted up. Thanks for watching. Okay, so while I've got this running, I thought I'd just show you a few of the um, little games Windows 3.1's got. I've got this running on my Mega PC, and this came with Windows 3.1, so this is brick. As you can see, it's a pretty slow uh, breakout clone. Quite fun, I suppose, for whiling away, um, uh, whiling away the time. I cannot get used to um, the close um, icon is at that corner. <laughs> I can't get used to this mouse either. It's not got a wheel on it. So um, you've got Hyperoid, which is obviously an Asteroids clone. which you control with the keyboard which is on the floor uh, yeah so you just uh, basically use the arrow keys to rotate the craft spacebar to fire shoot the asteroids and uh, other spacecraft also we got solitaire remember playing solitaire on uh, windows 95 cannot think for the life of me how to play it anymore Pipe, what's that? Ah, so it's um, it's basically Pipe Mania, uh, as in the Game Boy game. So uh, yeah, never played that, so don't know what to do. What's Kai? Ooh. No idea what you're doing here. Let's get rid of that. Eh. Golf. That's not golf. Not the sort of golf I was expecting anyway. Chomp. Yeah, this show's got a lot of games on it. So I'm guessing this is a Pac-Man Pac clone. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't look too bad. What else have we got on here? Looks like Minesweeper, Chess. Minesweeper, Windows Chess. Yeah, so uh, so there we go. <coughs> Amstrad Mega PC with a mouse. Uh, for mouse mat, I'm using some Tesco nappies. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the way it goes when you're a dad. So thanks for watching.